Hi guys, welcome back to Red Dog Gaming where we are continuing our path yet Let's Play. We are very early on in the game if we look at where we are and we are doing pretty well. Although we are still surrounded by enemies. Luckily for us, we are path here, so we have a pretty uh, amazing troops with the horse arch. It's probably the most cost effective troops in the whole game. Um, I just want to check that we're building everywhere and Campus Samatai, yeah, we know that's going to revolt. So we're going to attack them next turn, but judging by this, we have time. It is time to do our sieges. So we have four rams, but I think we've only got one troop to carry the rams. That's fine. Uh, we'll keep our keep our cataphracts out of this still they're still too valuable and nowhere to retrain them yet now this guy Ad Adumanish has seven uh, command which is actually great especially uh, he's 49 so he should live another 10 years um, as long as we don't waste him but we'll try use the generals in this they have nothing um, obviously we could probably take out the whole thing just with the horse archers but we'll see yeah, it's been uh, going well. Uh, once we've taken this from Pontus, they shouldn't have much left, really, when you think about it. They should literally have Ankira, and then maybe Nicomedia, uh, and that might be it. Um, not much, like really not much. Um, so we should be able to absolutely smash them. Um, but we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. But the campaign, for the amount of turns we've had, we're doing quite well, especially on very hard. Um, so we might even get to the Romans before they've had the Marian reforms. It looks likely that that will happen. It just depends how much of a buffer Egypt is and uh, Greece when we get there. Now, Greece, if it'll either be ruled by the Brutii or Macedon, most likely, but we'll see. Neither of those, if it's early Brutii, it'd be easy. Soldiers, fate has decided our destinies. It's just if they've got heavily armored people, that's all that is. Um, now where do we want to come in? This way is probably best. Yeah, we can get them there to fire on, but no way is really great. Um, you guys get down here we'll get you all don't need to be on skirmish mode we'll get you all firing on the enemy um, cataphracts don't worry about them and we'll get our generals get our generals in close as well you guys get there see whether you can fire on that eastern general what are they are they hillmen so it's not a bad thing to get our generals up there so if the skirmishers we won't want the skirmishers to uh Oh look, they're, they're impetuous. They want to fight. Well, you're all going to get killed. The Hillmen do look cool in this realistic, in the realistic skin. Like, I, I do like it. I like their uh, shields. Pretty cool. Um, sensitivity of this is actually really low. Probably should turn it up. Do I want to put them forward? I'm not sure. Come forward a little bit. Right, let's speed things up. Once we're knocking down the gate, they should come closer. Your soldiers have brought the ram to the gates. Mm, maybe not. Normally they do, to defend the gate at least. Okay, here they are. Your soldiers have broken through the gates. I'll just keep shooting them. Yeah, we're demolishing them here. They're, they're going to be dead. Those Peltas will die from our general. Um, I'm wondering whether we just charge our general in now, honestly. Rather than worry about getting these guys in. Oh, we'll get the generals in first. Um, then we might get four and four. There we are. Or five and four, should I say? In there, they they're gonna they're gonna be a bit worried about coming in. They're on skirmish mode still. Maybe don't do that. Charge! 
There you go, they're gonna charge. Let's kill that Eastern General. Actually, you know what? Let's get out. I don't want to lose these generals. We, we already lost one last episode, so... prefer not to. Right, we're going to have to charge him now. Uh, and all you guys, stop firing and just swarm this guy. There we are. They flee. Killed them all. What is that? Oh, there's a Peltasts. We don't need to worry about that. Uh, you guys just come here. We we'll probably can do the rest of this just with the generals, especially against Peltasts. Nice. Right. Okay, you guys come and fire at the Hillmen. Yeah, get up there. Cool. Okay, we're doing all right. Probably rush this a little bit, but we haven't lost many troops. There's very little left of them. Actually, you guys, stop. Get out. Don't want you firing on our own troops. That is where we lose most of our troops, honestly. Uh, in most battles. We lost eight, but it wasn't eight. It was actually 20. So, that's fine. We lost 12 to friendly fire. That's fine. A lot of those, well, a couple of those will have recovered. But, yeah, even in the siege battles we seem to be doing okay. Um, it's still a lot worse in the siege battles, definitely, um, than having to manoeuvre. So, I'm hoping this guy will... So, Mazaka's actually happy. Let's go with enslavement. Let's keep on growing our settlements. How are we doing here? Yes, we can retrain everything. Let's see whether we can push a bit of uh, experience around. Although, there's not really been many lost. Let's see, this one maybe can get two. No, it doesn't look like it. Uh, no, that's fine. At least we can retrain them. Uh, we can retrain these guys, I'm guessing. Blacksmith? Yeah, so they'll get a retrain of their heavy weapons. This trying to Zeus, no thanks. We would like roads here, and I would also retrain these guys. What do we want? Uh, probably a peasant to start with, just to man the place, and we'll move on. Uh, and we are still recruiting there, so that's good. These guys have just stood there for ages, that's fine. Right, let us. I'm okay. I think I'll be able to handle this quite fine. Yeah, Hatra. Forgot about Hatra. It's saying that that's <laughs> evenly matched. I'm guessing that's because of these um, chariots. So we're going to have to run away from the chariots. We should be able to, as long as our troops don't keep stopping and uh, moving away. The other thing with the chariots is they might be so cumbersome that they'll get in reach of the walls. That would be great. I don't mind. Uh, well, we don't want to lose men there, really, because I don't think we can retrain the uh, the horse archers there. Um, but it's fine. We've got Hillman as well, but they're going to be useless in this. I, I don't think we'll use them. Uh, just cavalry. All the cavalry. Ah, oh, no, we only have wooden walls. I was thinking we had bigger, bigger walls than that. Uh, let's go out this side. Yeah, you guys are there. Obviously peasants. Hillman can stay here. We'll actually leave the general here. Although I could do with the general next to these guys, actually. Um, we'll bring him out when we get closer. We won't use all our ammo, our ammo just on the Numidians. Like, there'll be plenty more ammo. It's getting these guys out of the walls. That's the uh, that's the big issue. They don't like the pathfinding. Still, like it's fine, but it is just the same as the original. Like you can tell it's dated the pathfinding, but you know I don't know whether they've they did say that they've improved it slightly. Um, don't know don't know how much they have actually improved it. 
Right, do we want to split these guys? I think maybe we do. Uh, you guys, you guys go to the front so we know where we stand. You're all at fire at will. Yep, fire on the chariots. We don't want to get caught here, so let's get up this way a bit. At least here we can just run backwards. Um, okay, they're going to chase us. That's actually brilliant. Keep going. That's the problem, see, we stop every time. Let's come forward. Don't know when they're going to turn around. They've only lost one. It's the amount of hit points they have. I think they have five. Let's uh, just pause it for a sec. Um, can I not? Can I not see them? Normally you can see them. I, th I must be pressing something wrong there. Okay, we, we've kind of run away from them right now. We're getting shot. Do they have bow and arrows, or or is it? Uh, I'm guessing it's friendly fire. Over here, how are we doing? Don't know whether they've lost anyone. Go 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 go. Okay, no, nope, they're turning around. Good for us. How are we doing here? They were on 48 before. We're still on 48. Okay, they do have they do have arrows. That's why. Um, right, we'll get our get our general out of there just for the time being. Anyway. Okay, they're just going to stand there. They're broken. Okay, that's one of their generals dead. Let's get these guys back up here. Let's make a lovely Egyptian sandwich. I forgot that the Egyptian chariot general has bow and arrows. I thought it was just a shock chariot. But it does have bow and arrows, doesn't it? Um, only on 42, though, right now. It's not great reading. <laughs> They've got so many hit points, that's the problem. And our guys are not experienced yet. That's the one thing, like, because we've won all the, the battles so easily, our guys are not generating a huge amount of experience, really. Oh, fire on the Chariot General. I want you guys to fire on the Chariot General. Um, and... Yeah, let's speed it up just a little bit. Okay, they're not. Uh, okay, we've got gained an experience with one of these guys. Good, good, good. Are they running away? They're with. Yes, they are withdrawing. Oh, where's the edge of the map? It's just there, just there. Right, go, 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 go. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Don't want you to do that. Okay, they're going to escape with a general. Uh, they're going to escape with some Namidians as well. But these guys are useless. I'm not actually that bothered about chasing them down. Like, they are just literal trash units. Like, there's literally no point in them. Uh, yeah, they're going to escape. Okay, this last one is not going to escape, though. Okay, they're broken. Everyone stop firing. Including General. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, so fine. We they've escaped with one of their generals. Probably I think it's their faction air, but that's fine. They killed forty eight. That's forty three. That's probably from their their bow and arrows. A lot of those, twenty of those was from our from our general though, I think. So not too bad, because they'll just recover automatically. Um but yeah, fine. The one thing, Egypt does have a big army here, but I think potentially, where's that spy? I wonder whether he can see Jerusalem. Jerusalem looks pretty empty. That's the escaped one. How many times? Seven turns. It would be for a siege. Um, I'm thinking... Wait, make sure we can actually siege it down. I think here we go for it. Although, one turn and we can retrain these guys. Uh, I could get another spy. Get another spy while we're waiting. 
I think the, the thing is, if I go attack there, I'm pretty sure he'll come and attack me. And we can force us to take Jerusalem in one turn. I think we'll, I think we'll go for it. It's risky, but if we need to retreat, Sidon is only there. That's all. That's the one thing that's a problem with Sidon. 95, that's fine. Let's get the Hillman in there if we can. Um, whoops. Hillman. I don't know whether they'll still be happy. Uh, it's not like... Nope. Um, uh, whether we can get you across. We'll get you across in one go. Uh, and then once they're happy, we'll move them back across. Okay, everyone else? Doing okay. Mazika, we need to make sure we build something here. There we are. Great. Um, anything else we want to be doing? No. I don't think so. That's good. Let's go. Seleucids, if they want a ceasefire, be reasonably happy to accept it. Wait, are we not, we not at war with them anymore? Did we get a ceasefire? I don't remember that. Hmm. You know what? I'll, I'll accept that. Uh, give me compensation. No, not offer compensation. I want want compensation. I'm glad. I'm guessing they've removed that as an option. I don't want to do that. Um, get rid of that. Nah, whatever. You can get do what you want, Sleuth. Ah, there we are. Slew kids on Antioch. It's a trash army, though. Um, I, I, I just don't think two... Two horse archers will be good enough to siege it down. I think what we're going to have to do... Oh, they broke Hatra as well. Cool. I think we're going to have to break our siege at Jerusalem there, then. Maybe leave a couple of um, horse arch... A uh, couple of hillmen in there. And then if Egypt attacks... It. So Egypt didn't attack me at Jerusalem. That's interesting. Where did that army go? Okay, that army did go here. Right. Mm, we might have to fight our way through these two armies. I don't want to fight through two, though, with that. Um... Let's go this way. I want to go straight to Antioch. Yeah, let's lift it. They will have a uh, one turn where they don't have any siege equipment. So this spy, let's keep this spy around here. Let's keep, let's bring you through here. This is a problem with Egypt. They will spam out so many armies. That's why we need to get this army moving, really, isn't it? Um, right. Let's get this move, army moving because we need to. How are they? Still happy. Right, once we've recruited these two, we uh, we will we'll get them moving as well. Fifteen strong. Let's come. Hmm. Let's not worry too much about Hatra because it's terrible. Um, right, you lot. Masika's still happy. It's actually mental. We managed to retrain uh, our troops here as well. They're not going to attack this turn, so they won't build any siege equipment this turn. So we'll be able to break that. And then I think we'll move this way. Um, we might have overreached ourselves with Sidon. I'm kind of happy to let Sidon go. If we can get rid of this town so they can't recruit from here, that might be the next step once we've destroyed this army. That's also got one more turn before it recruits siege equipment. Um... Three horse archers and a hillman. I just don't think we'll have enough ammo. However, that we're probably going to have to come out there. Uh, and whittle them down and then retreat. And we won't lose the city, but it will be fine. Okay, yeah. Sit uh, Campus Sarmate as well. I forgot about that. Sinope, Antioch, uh, and rioting in Sidon. Well, fine. Let's go... Well, first things first, let's have a look. Well, now let's have a look in a sec. We'll, we'll go end this Siege of Campus Samate first. 
They think that they can win this with Warhounds. Terrible. Uh, I mean, it could, because it could spook all our horses and make them all all run away, but we won't lose many troops because they've got no pursuing troops, even if that happens. That's the one thing with very hard. You just have to be so, so careful of your morale. Incredibly careful. Like, that is, that, that is the main thing. I don't care about... Oh, I, don't, I, I don't like... Um, uh, this two, <laughs> yeah, this, they're pointless. I'd like to be able to retrain them as well because they they do have one experience. Obviously, the greatest amount of experience, but is this one? <laughs> Where are they? Oh, we need to go in there. Uh... I like being out of the trees. Actually, we're staying a square. Better, don't know if that's better morale. I know uh, Napoleon, Napoleonic three total war. The fatter your units are, like the bigger the column, the more morale they have, which I think is kind of a cool little concept. I know it's probably not the case here. Let's just whittle them down. Not doing a huge amount of damage there. Let's uh, focus on the Scythian horse archers if we can. Bring them down. Because they're the ones who are doing the most damage to us. Yeah, we're whittling quite a few away with each rally. I know they're whittling some of us away as well. Uh, get out, get out, get out, get out. Okay, they, they charged these guys. Oh, it's the war dogs, it's the war dogs. We don't want to... I kind of want you guys to take it. That's the one thing I don't like having these war dogs around. Yeah, knew this would be the case. It's the morale penalties of all these war dogs. Um, those axemen will shred our eastern infantry as well. Are they withdrawing or what? No, marching. I don't want any of those. Let's go kill these guys. Oh, we're right next to the uh, exit as well. How many war dogs are left? A lot of horsemen dead there. Oh, is that what they're fighting? The war hounds? Okay, you two. Let's come this way. Because the war hounds there. They need to die. So we need to fight them. But the problem is, when you do that, it, it makes you want to. It makes them attack the other guys. Yeah, they're all going to run. Oh dear. Oh dear. Ah, they're powerful. Those those hounds on the morale, I guess. Um, let's come back here. Let's see what we've got left. I think on this difficulty, we don't. Uh, if we could break the actual Warhound unit, wherever they are. Where is that Warhound actual unit? Is it in here? If we could break these guys, kill all of them, it, they might, they, they'll might rout. And then they'll be classed as routing if we could rout everyone else as well. Uh, you guys get over here. Come over here. Has, have we got everyone? I just want to retreat a bit to see what's going on. Okay. Oh yes, the warhounds are warhounds are dying. Let's go. Okay, this this has been a mess of a battle, really. Uh, now we just want to avoid the actual like hounds, but I can't see them. Uh. Yeah, you pursue them because... Yeah, there they are. They're, they're chasing after these guys. That's actually good. We don't want... Alright, let's come and see whether we can kill the rest of these Scythians. 26 of them. We should, even on this difficulty, beat them. Don't really want to take this low down advantage though, so let's come over here. Oh yeah, you, you keep chasing... You keep running away from those Warhounds. That's fine. Uh, and we'll come kill the Axemen after. Everyone's tired as well. How are you? You're warmed up. Not great. 
odds. Right, let's fire on these guys. I want you to chase them down, the peasants, the old peasants. Right. Have you killed all of them? Oh, excellent. Excellent. Does that mean they've just disappeared? Or where have they gone? Can't really risk them shredding us. God, what a mess of a battle this is. Hmm. They're running away from the peasants. Weaklings! They're literally peasants. Could break them easily. You're knackered, aren't you? You are slow. That's the other. Ah, yes, shoot the peasants. That is perfect. That's actually perfect. They shoot the peasants rather than my horse archers. I am very happy with that. These axemen are getting a bit upset as well because we're shooting them to pieces. They're going to charge the, uh, the peasants. It's a different general. Whoa, everyone's routed just because of that. Not ideal. Not ideal. <laughs> right. I want you to just actually halt. I just need to survive long enough. This this guy needs to not route long enough for these guys to come back. Because I think they probably will. Same as this guy. I'll get them away actually. This guy might waver just because of these guys breaking okay here we are one and your people no excuses can be made for fleeing like this right we just need to stay away from the routing units oh god this is uh, horrible this is horrible right let's go let's go kill them they're gonna break though that's the problem They're shaking though now. Just shoot them, just shoot them. I don't care, don't charge them. You will break. Shoot them, they've only got nine men. You shoot those guys. This is chaos. <laughs> this is horrid. They all are hating it right now. We're on high ground, so we should be able to get the uh, high ground advantage. Okay, there we are. They're steady, though. How are you steady? As soon as these guys are dead, we, we should be we should be home straight. It's just killing them. Okay, they've gone. They've gone. They have gone. Good. What chaos. they all break now, I will be fuming. <laughs> okay, as long as we keep these guys out of sight, they're not going to know what's going on, are they? You're... Well, once this general's dead, they should break, basically. Right, stay away. I do not want you. Uh, do not want you dying here. Or routing. You come back. I know there's only two of you. Shooting them from the front's not the most efficient way. We do have a bit of ammo left on that uh, 13. I think if we go in melee, they will. They will break. Literally. They're shaking as soon as we go near these guys. Oh, yep, yeah, there we are. That's good. Turn around, yep. Yeah. Good for us. They, we just need them to break. They're wavering now. Don't come that close, actually. <laughs> Jesus. 
They should break, I think, soon. Look how the, their morale is, is strong. I called it before this battle as well, didn't I? <laughs> I said the way they were going to win is get the Bloodhounds, to get the Warhounds to uh, kill. I cannot stand any more of that battle. Look at that. Look at that. Horrendous. A well, hundred of them was the Eastern Mercenaries and 60 peasants. So half of the, what they inflicted was not important. But Jesus, that was tough. That was horrible. That was terrible for me. But without a general in there, it's so hard to get the morale. How did he die in the end? I forgot. Did, he, did I charge him in crazily and he died? Okay, at least we got rid of them. I don't think this army is strong enough to go to uh, go take Chersiones, though. Not in its current form. Oh, God. Do you, you have stables? You could have stables. Right, we go for stables then here. And while we're while we're here, let's recruit. Let's recruit Eastern Infantry for three turns. I, it's just in case they decide to attack attack us. Like I, I, they are trash, but it's better than having nothing if they attack. Oh my days! What is this army of Pontus doing up here? We've got a horse archer there. Might be able to beat that. Although it's a general. Pontus is crazy. Okay, cool. So we've moved everyone, I think. Okay. Oh, yeah, we need to do that. Um, that's fine. Man of the hour. Brilliant. Up here. Production not completed. It's died. Oh, dear. Probably because he was a general in that battle and then he died in that battle. Um, Adamunish is a good... Sarash of Syrinx, Spear Commander. Great. And he got a Galloper. That's awesome. Uh, our Sarch, he's got a Desert Scout. Great. Yeah, we're doing fine. Yeah, Mazaka. Can we move? We have moved from Mazaka. Great. Right, let's do our construction and then let's do that battle. So, a tough turn, really, this one. Um, our Sarkia. I think we go. Let's just keep them happy. Artoxata, walls. That's no, not brilliant, but what can you do? Uh, let's go for the market in Katias. Sinope. Let's go for that. Campus Samate. Yep, we're getting that. Sidon. Uh, we got. Oh, do we go for the walls? That's the only thing that really makes sense. Uh, Mazaka. Go for that. Um, now we can recruit horse archers here as well, so let's make sure we're doing that. Right, let's, uh, let's bring these guys out. Oh my days! Like, all I want to do is just whittle them down. It doesn't matter if I kill a general, because the general will just be the same. And also, it's not too bad. <laughs> um, so, maybe leave these two slingers, but this 62, and we'll go out with that. Uh, horse archers. I'll see whether we can bait them by putting the hillmen in front of the walls. Uh, but all it is is a mission to just whittle them down and then when they eventually attack they'll be whittled down enough for us to beat them. Uh, we'll have to do a battle every turn. We can only do one I think. Uh, we get them back inside the city and we press retreat I'm pretty sure and the battle should end at a draw. So yeah. Oh, we'll see anyway. Yeah. So, Slingers. Slingers have such low range, it's actually terrible. They have the slowest army possible going, though. Literally just army full of hoplites. That's, that's a long way away, that uh, one I was going to say. Okay, she's got this one. Keep him on skirmish mode, just in case I forget. Hey, do you want to come, uh, come fight? Me, bro? Nope, they want to run away. Come on. 
You know you want to fight. The thing is, they have no, they have no, uh, they have no missile troops, so it matters not what. Uh, if we get the slingers up there, they're not going to be able to catch them. Like they might try and chase them, but it really doesn't matter. I just want to fire on them as long as possible. You're firing it. This is just going to go on for a little bit, so bear with us. We have to do it just to whittle them down. Nope. It's good that they come out and decide to show their backs to us. How many have we killed so far? Killed 200. That's actually really good. Bringing the general out. Not that that matters. Yeah, you guys run away. That's good. Yeah, keep showing your backs to us. It's perfect for us. A bit further than halfway down now on our, on uh, on our ammo. Fine. Yeah. Just going well. Slingers have nearly run out of ammo as well now. Perfect. How many have we killed? Look at our balance of power going down with the amount of ammo we have though. We've nearly killed half of them. So one more go at this, we might be able to break them. Looks like we're done. Yeah, we're all done. We're done. Um... Go there. Everyone get back inside. Great. That had, uh, like, we had to do that. Look at them, though. Look how broken down they are compared to last time. So if they attack next go, we have a good chance of beating them, honestly. And once you're in... Um, Uh, special ability? Are you the general? I was going to say. Should be able to make everyone flee. Why can't we make these guys flee? Yeah, draw. There we are. 479. Pretty good. Wait, we lost one man. Probably from friendly fire. I was going to say. Bit silly. Yep, yeah, they're carrying on. Okay, cool. Well, I think we'll probably end the turn, and then let's see where things stand, and we might end the episode there. But let's see. Uh, we might have a little look at uh, our faction rankings again, just uh, kind of at the end of every episode, seeing how we're doing. Also, get to see how many um, how many turns we've done, and you know how many settlements we've taken. I really don't like that. If if that carries on, we're going to have to recruit like four or five horse archers here just to go take it on might be not too bad an idea anyway so okay we can't there yeah let's do that send the turn okay yeah egypt are attacking sinope it's literally two peasants in there it doesn't matter like if they take that that's not too bad for us Okay, they've they've gone and stood next to stood next to Artax Arta, but not really done anything. Um, ceasefire, ceasefire, Greek cities in Julii, fine. Um, Sidon, yep, yeah. trash army. And Antioch, I mean Antioch's still under siege. Oh, our diplomat. Uh, oh well, we don't really need him. He'll be able to take that, but he won't be able to siege it down. 
Okay, they've t broken the siege there, so we should be able to smash that as a trash army. Um, are we still recruiting here? Good. Yeah, we'll have a really good army to take forward down to Ankira. Uh, the Seleucids still have over here, but that's the only other one they have. So I might actually even just run through here, because we've destroyed two of their big armies. They won't be able to recruit one that quickly again, you'd hope, anyway. Do we go around that way? They probably have... Uh, uh, I think we'll be able to beat it, honestly. Next turn. Yeah, Sidon is uh, uh, sacrificed right now. Uh, let's go for Hatra. Go for Palmyra, I mean, sorry. Um, you two can uh, go and join them. Up here, how are we doing? Yeah, we're just waiting for that uh, cavalry stables to be to be done. So we've got one, we've get got one guy recruiting there. Let's get another one, and then we'll send all those guys to the front line. And let's just do the construction next then. So Susa's upgraded, brilliant. Can we build elephants here? Oh, we can build war elephants. Oof. it's four thousand eight hundred though. I think for now we just want to keep upgrading like how much does this make 20 that's awful minus 54 that removes all the corruption that's good let's go with that then um, let's go with Frasper okay Frasper we go so Astra because of law again Seleucia is upgraded as well. I think. Yeah, we'll probably keep on going with the law everywhere, really. Increases the um, the public order as well, so it's it's not a bad shout. We'll go for the farming. Hatra. Cheap or not? Mm, I'm going to run out of money on this one. But Mazaka isn't hugely important. It's more important to be recruiting these uh, these horse archers, honestly. Um, but yeah, actually, I think the last thing we'll do then. We do have one horse archer there. It's not going to win us that, though. So I think the last thing we'll do is we'll just do the same thing again. And then we'll end the episode there. More important events result from tri trivial causes. True, very true. I think um, I don't think we'll beat these guys this time, but um, certainly try. Uh, we want to be over here again, don't we? Uh, you just come forward and shoot at these guys. Stay on skirmish mode. Take you guys off skirmish mode. Speed up. They're running away already. Not withdrawing. They're just finding a better position, I guess. There's the edge of the map. Well, that one guy's dead. Yep. That poor hoplites. They tried so hard. <laughs> Fortunately, didn't make it. And you might not even make it back to your uh, lines because we will kill you. Yeah, it looks like you're going to die. Well, good effort, but unfortunately, you're all dead. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Please remember guys, if you are liking these videos, then please do subscribe. It definitely helps a lot. Um, trying to finish this. Well, I don't know whether we'll go for a world conquest or not. I definitely want to beat the Romans, like fully beat them. Uh, and then we'll see see where we can go from there, really. Um, yeah, we're running out of ammo again, but we're, we're going to whittle them down to nothing so that they basically can't attack us. Even next end turn, they'll, they'll just lose. Because all our ammo will be refilled. 
and then you go over there. Look, we've, we've nearly destroyed the whole army. Do we have anyone with ammo? We have one guy. If they fully withdraw from this, that would be amazing. <laughs> Are we done? Looks like it. Uh, and we'll get one of these guys to withdraw once they enter the city. There we are. Once they've retreated to the town square, that's when it gives us the option of ending the battle, I think. Yeah, there we are. 397 again. Pretty good. Pretty good. Enjoyable. To just whittle them down and just go. <laughs> See you guys. <laughs> Always fun. Cool, like that army is nothing now, like we'll be able to destroy them next turn. Uh, so sending these guys back, maybe not needed, but I think we go take Tarsus anyway because uh, we can even put some forts in these two locations so they can't even get through if they want to. But yeah, I think that's it for today guys, so thank you very much for watching and hopefully I'll see you again on the next video.